Good morning. What is going on, everybody? This is the Crypto YouTube channel, and today we are going to be covering my personally the top five picks I have for DeFi tracking or DeFi, uh, you know, kind of research. But mainly, these are going to be ways to track and interact with DeFi, but also track your portfolio and your positions that you might have forgotten. So keep in mind. These are a variety of different ones, and they're actually going to be more out there besides these. Uh, and also, side note, as always, guys, I am not a financial advisor. Nothing in this video is for financial advice. I, I don't want you making buying decisions, selling decisions based off this video. This is simply to educate you and show you what is out there. So hopping right into it, we are going to using my public my ENS name, my public address that anyone can look at to show you how these kind of work. So first thing we're going to be looking at here is APY.Vision. Uh, their website for this page is app.APY.Vision. Well, I apologize for that. I just noticed that the bottom of the screen didn't pick up. All good. So APY.Vision, app.APY.Vision. You can put in an address, you can track uh, the market value, the gas fees and exit transactions, how much you've done, the liquidity pool gains, and your net market gains. It'll list out your pools here, your vaults, the watch list, so you can add a watch list along with uh, some offers from their partners. Now note, APY Vision has a pro version. So if you wanted to do more here besides tracking one wallet, the total APYs, your limited support, then you'd have to pay. So they're doing one vision per hundred dollars tracked, which is uh, one vision is about four dollars forty. So that can add up extremely quickly. But you can also go to a different tier. So personally, I do like APY Vision, but I do not use their pro. Now to jump into the other ones, this one I've been doing every single day, been checking on it, using it. This is Zapperfy or Zapper.Fi. So I like them quite a bit. I, I've been personally using them quite often. On the right side, you have widgets. You can actually add in widgets. It'll tell you the network fees, the gas trends, Zapper Learn, and pool trending. You can also go in here and change what chain you are on, whether Optimism, Harmony, Phantom. I mean, they've got support for a lot of these chains and it's partially why I like them so much. Now it doesn't read absolutely everything, but you can see here, you can go into the wallet. You can see, you know, some of these assets I didn't know I had, it probably, to be fair, I, I don't know how I got S fuel or wrapped mass or CRDT. These things I, I really didn't know about. And then you can go through all these different farming, liquidity, debt positions, etc. You know, you can go and check in everything, what protocols. I love its organization. And you can go in here and you can actually turn on and off certain ones. You can go in here, you can actually look at your NFTs. For some reason, I guess my <laughs> Lobby Lobster is worth the grand. I, I don't think it is, but you know, to each their own. But we'll, you know, it's got a variety of here. And then you can go in here, you can actually exchange. You can do swaps here. You can actually provide liquidity through here. Uh, you can put in and start earning on assets in here. And personally, I'm doing this to get the quest. So I've been doing this, I'm doing the quest, setting an avatar, I've done all of that. And then you can get rewards here in the form of NFTs that you will have to mint. So I think it's pretty cool. Uh, I do like them quite a bit. Now, moving on to the next one, we're going to be looking at 8Board. Personally, I have used this one quite often as well in the past. I like their layout. It's a little bit different, but you can add multiple addresses. You don't really have to pay for it. And it's pretty nice in that feature. So you can go here to profile. And you can see, hey, you can add, you can go to your dashboard. You can look at it. It'll pull up and search through all of these different chains. So they've got a lot of different chain support along with many of the protocols on there. So if we go over here to my profile, you can hit add, you can make a portfolio for it. You can go in here, you can edit it. So you can say, Hey, I want to add a wallet. And then you select the wallet you want to do. And then you can go in and put in your address. And then you can see here, you can turn on and off the chains and all of these various protocols, projects, etc., on each one of them. Personally, I like that quite, <laughs> I actually really like it. I think it's very nice. And then you go over here to your dashboard and it'll go through and check your assets. It'll tell you, hey, you know, you're using too many unused ones. Well, you know, whatever. 
And you can notice there is a difference between each one of these that I've shown and what it says my net worth is for this, you know, the specific address. So you can go through and actually check it out, go you know, do all that. And you can go to your NFT gallery and it tells you, hey, zero, 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 zero. So they're gonna be slightly different readings. You've got your eight tools, so they have a bridge, their blender, a search. Then you can go over here to protocols and you can actually check out all of these protocols. You can click on Olympus DAO, it'll take you to Olympus DAO, where you go in and you know, hey, 7,200% APY. So that is a board. I do like them quite a bit. And then we are going to be looking at DeFi or DBank, which I've shown in the past. I've made a video on DBank in the past. I personally uh, have used them. I do like them, but you know, I, I will say I, I haven't used them recently all that much. And you can go through and check them out, add in addresses, search up addresses, see what's going on with them. You know, hey, you're staking Matic. You've got a curve. You got a hop. You got Ave, Pancake Swap, Ellipsis, etc. You can go through and do all of these things on here. So personally, uh, they're good. NFTs, nothing is showing. Uh, approvals, you can go through. This is actually pretty nice. Uh, you can go through and check approvals and decline approvals, which you can do on Etherscan. But if you didn't know how, you could go through DBank and also be able to do it. You can go to their homepage and you can see, hey, you can search up a protocol, an ENS, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, and do things like that. So DBank, pretty cool. Um, I've used it. I like it. They've got DeFi list, rankings, token swap. It's It's got a lot of features. Just like most of these, they're all somewhat similar, but uh, some of them I like more than others. So, and the last, it's not really a DeFi tracker for your portfolio per se, but it is a general DeFi resource that I would recommend people to just take a look at because it's got an overview. You can check TVL, the change, curve dominance. You can check staking, uh, pool two, etc. You can go over to chains, see TVL across various chains and how that has changed over time. And then you can go through, you can say, hey, airdrops. This is gonna give you a list of tokens or protocols, I should say that don't have tokens that may do an airdrop. It's not guaranteed. There's no way to know if they're going to, but it's worth looking at. Just note, it's risky technically to do these things. Now, Saddle Finance, you know, they, they had, you know, they, yes, that's already done. So it may not be 100% updated, but so you can go through, you can just check these out. Uh, I had to cut out a part there, but you can check out any of these, get a little, little bit of information on them. Overall, pretty cool. A lot of information and resources here if you're curious this is a good resource if you're wanting to maybe find projects i use it for finding information finding projects seeing how DeFi is changing and so with that being said guys please let me know your thoughts down below let me know if this has been helpful let me know if you are to use some of these and i will catch you guys later i have hoping you had a good week hopefully everyone had a good thanksgiving if you celebrated it and I will catch you guys later.